So we are going to fix Makita charger model number DC18RA. We are gonna make it work from 110 mains to 220. I bought this charger from an US eBay seller. Tried it here in Europe and it blew off. What a surprise! We start by removing all the four screws and caps. and store them in a safe place. Just pry the upper case. These are the five parts we need to replace. The board is not screwed on. So we just need to unplug these cables. The replacement parts are number one, 450 volts, 470 microfarad capacitor. Two, 450 volts, 22 microfarad capacitor. Three, 14D361 K varistor. 4. 6.3 amps ceramic fuse if needed. 5. 2 SK3679 MOSFET. 3. We will need some soldering paste, some wick, some solder with paste in its core and the solder sucking pump we'll start by removing the big capacitor these are the two pins we need to unsolder I think putting some paste will help. I removed this elastic that was holding the capacitor. Note that the marking on the board must align with the strip on the capacitor. Fortunately, the weight of the board held the capacitor correctly, making it easy to solder. See how shiny they are. Mm, man, I like it. Now we replace the small capacitor. These are the, its two pins. A nice trick to the solder 
is to put some solder first. Don't know why, but it helps. Some alligator clips really help to hold the capacitor in place. With the cutters will clip anything extra. Of course it would really help if the cutters are good. But we'll work with whatever we have in hand. Next, we will need to replace the varistor. Take a sharp knife and remove the shrink wrap around the varistor. We can see this one has exploded. The reason is I tried it in different voltage than what it's rated. The new one seems a little bigger. I think I put it right by matching the letters with the old one. Again I'll hold the alligator clips. And continue the same procedure. Paste, then solder. Now it's most worth replacing time. Yay. And these are the three pins you're going to desolder.
Remove the screw and remember to not lose it. Put it somewhere safe. You should apply some thermal paste. I don't have any, so it is what it is. Last but not least, the mains plug. And since everything is ready, we'll put the board back in its place. And of course connect the cables. Don't worry about connecting them wrong. Every cable has its own connector. Just remember after connecting them to tuck the cables in the holder. Put the cover back. making sure the cable is in the right place squeeze everything put the screws and you're done Well, almost done. We forgot the caps. And now we're done. Let's test it out. <laughs> Success!